Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another pink sheet mask. Now, as you guys can tell, my whole YouTube channel is all about skincare, which is something that I like to take care of, especially because I have large pores and I do have a lot of acne and I get zits the majority of the time. So I actually ended up remodeling my room, which made me get a zit. And it's like super huge and it's like right here. I don't know if the camera is capturing, but if it's not, it's okay because it is too damn big and it actually hurts as I am moving it. But it is like a big, big, big bump. So today we are actually going to be doing this one, which of course it says so over this. Now this one is actually a calming type of sheet mask, but it has tea tree oil, which is a good thing because your girl got a big zit. So hopefully it will calm it down. Highly doubt it, but hopefully it will calm it down because I'm so over having zits. So, let's see. It says, reach the next level, chill vibes, rest your skin and peace out. Which, clearly that's what we're going to do. So, the mask says, prep your skin first, which is wash and dry completely. Check. Number two, unfold the mask, position it on the face. As shown, leave it for 15 minutes. Then you're going to remove, you're going to pat to massage down into your skin, and voila. Let's hope for some magic up in here. So let's you know here, calming sheet mask with tea tree oil, which is something that, again, I need because I got a big zip. So by eating, let's get to this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. Welcome. Thank you so much for seeing me today, and I'll see you guys as we continue on with this video. All right, let's get to it. So let's make sure the mask isn't there. I'm ready now. It's gonna cut. Ooh. Oh, okay. I didn't want to cut all the way through because it still felt that the sheet mask was there. And I don't want to cut it. So far, we have successfully not cut one sheet mask, which is amazing. So let's open this up. Oh, uh, I was kind of hoping it was like rainbow or pink. It is a just a normal sheet mask. So we're going to apply this onto our face. Let's see how it smells. Hmm. It kind of smells the same as the last two that I did. Very chemical wise as a smell. With the slight sense, um, scent of tea tree oil. It's not overpowering. But it's just there. Already now that we have unfolded, it's time to apply. Already. So that actually went really smooth onto my face. There was actually a lot of serum in this. So I'm going to go lay down because it's it's basically slithering down just, just a little bit. So by any chance, well, I'll see you back in 15 minutes. And it's, it's, it's slipping. I could feel you falling. All right, guys, so it has been officially 15 minutes. Now we're going to remove this sheet mask. Ah, oh, yes. Removing it feels amazing. Now, I was actually feeling a lot of tingling sensation going on here. As in, like, it was activated the product. I don't know how to describe it. But it was as if it was zapping some of my zits that I have here. But we're going to massage this all over our face because there is a lot of serum still left. I look really, really red. Okay, so the product has finally absorbed a lot, the majority of it. Now, I am looking at my skin in the camera. It looks really good. I mean, it looks like it's glowing. It looks amazing. Now, I actually went to go wash my fingers just because I didn't want to make it feel like if my fingers were tacky and because my fingers are tacky now the product is even more tacky because I don't like anything that's tacky on my face now it looks really good in the camera wise because it gives me like this nice glowing sensation going on like in my forehead in like my cheeks and usually you guys I always highlight this area so it gives me that glow there and same thing here and then my forehead the nice glow now I don't see one my pores minimize. Didn't claim to do that, but because it has tea tree oil, I was expecting to have like cleaner pores. Didn't happen. I still have like a lot of blackheads that look pretty dirty. Um, definitely didn't calm my zit down when I was massaging it. It actually got red, 
so it definitely didn't calm that down look it's actually even more visible i think you guys can see it on the screen so that's not cute then i have like another random zit here didn't even know i had one until now because it, it actually hurts as i'm pushing it down now the product is a little bit tacky not as much it's not like super sticky that it's like feels yucky yucky but you could definitely feel like you have like a nice thick primer onto it a primer is basically the base of your makeup so you could definitely feel like you have a primer on and i am a person that has combo skin so i have oily and dry skin so because i have a combination skin you know there's sometimes that i need moisture and you know this is, this is pretty good it doesn't require me to go get lotion and put on but because it does feel like I have a primer on, I will just go in with my my makeup forever. And this one is a step one, a matte base primer. Just because my skin's already moisturized and all I need is something matte so it won't get oily. I would just go in with this one and maybe a little bit of the pores just to minimize my pores here. Because again, your girl got large pores. But I actually really do like the sheet mask. I mean, it's just calm my skin and it just popped out most of the breakouts that I had well not popped out I guess they already exist it just like brought it a little bit more to life but I mean it's an okay mask not something amazing I was hoping for some color honestly I'm getting tired of just using white sheet mask but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I apologize for my scratchy voice and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys